welcome to my channel if you're new if you're already subscribed to me i'm so glad you came back to visit with me today today i have a homeschooling video for you guys i did a video a few months ago about workbook only homeschooling and i showed you all of the evermore workbooks that we use pretty much every single day with my youngest who just finished fifth grade um, and I get a lot of questions about that video, what we use, how we use it, um, what our favorites are. So over the last few months, I've been doing a little bit of a focus on some of their books and how they compare to each other, how we use them, why we like them. So I've already done one comparing their science workbooks. I've done one comparing their vocabulary workbooks. And today I'm going to be sharing with you guys a close up of three of their geography workbooks and what I think about them, how they're different from each other, and which one I prefer. So the three workbooks I'm gonna be showing you guys today are the Evan Moore Skill Sharpeners Geography, Evan Moore Daily Geography, and the Evan Moore The Seven Continents Asia. Now we haven't used Asia yet. We did North America last year in fifth grade, loved it. We also have Antarctica, which is the one we're gonna be doing for sixth grade, but I also have Asia as a backup whenever we get done with Antarctica. So those are the three I'm gonna be sharing with you guys today. So if you have looked at these or wondered about these and wondered maybe which one's right for you and how they're all different, then today's video is definitely for you. If you like homeschooling videos, definitely give this one a thumbs up and let's get into it. But I am gonna start with the Evan Moore Skill Sharpeners Geography. This one actually is new to us. I have used quite a few other books in the Skill Sharpeners series. We've done science. We're still doing science actually. We've done grammar and punctuation in the past. We've done math in the past. So this is a new subject for me in the Skill Sharpener series, but so far I have not seen anything in the Skill Sharpener series that I don't like. So the Skill Sharpener's Geography has workbooks for pre-K through grade six, which I really appreciate. So even your youngest little kids in pre-K have a geography option and it's only 10.99 so very very affordable and you'll see when once we go through it a little bit more closely how much you're getting for that low price some of the evan moore workbooks kind of have what you might call a teacher's manual and not in the traditional sense and you'll see that in a minute when i show you daily geography but they do have more of a a teacher's guide kind of a approach to a certain subject but the skill sharpeners there is no teacher's manual there's no there's no separate student workbook Everything you need is in this workbook. In the Skill Sharpeners Geography for fifth grade, there are 16 units. You're gonna be completing a unit in about eight to 10 school days. I did notice though when flipping through, some of the lower levels have less units. Now I don't have those on hand, so I don't know exactly which units have, I don't know exactly which levels have how many units. I do know that some of the really younger levels did have less units. Um, but at least in this case, you're getting 16 units with the grade five. And one thing I love about the Skill Sharpeners Geography is you're getting more than just boring geography. You're seeing real world applications, landforms, animals, religions of the world, all different topics pertaining to not just the, you know, the map location of something, but so much more than that. Reading and comprehension, vocabulary practice, writing, and there's a hands-on activity at the end of each unit, which I think is really, really unique. You don't typically see a lot of hands-on activities with geography curriculum. So I think it's really fun that they have a hands-on activity at the end of each unit. One thing I like about the skill sharpeners, whenever you have any new vocabulary words, they're gonna be in the reading, but they're also gonna be up here in a little separate box that is bolded and defined for your students. So it makes it really easy for them to look up and reference what those words mean. The skill sharpeners geography, I think really brings geography to life. It makes it really fun and interesting and engaging. And I like that you're not doing the same you're not talking about the same exact thing every single day and you're getting a variation of different types of worksheets while you're in each unit. So you're doing a crossword one day, you're doing reading and questions the next day, you're doing a mapping skill the next day. So it definitely keeps kids busy and engaged. It's especially good for kids who tend to get bored easily. Uh, I think it's really good that it kind, of, it kind of keeps their minds engaged and active because each worksheet is different every single day. But one thing I really, really love about the Skill Sharpeners line, whether it's geography or science or math, it is 100% full color. Even over here on the sides, you've got colored tabs that divide the different units. The photography is all colorized. The maps are colorized. Everything is full color. So to me, I really like that, especially with science, especially with geography, where you're seeing a lot of real pictures and photographs of animals and places. I think it's amazing to have a full color workbook. I think it makes it much more fun for the kids. And if you have a child who is distracted by that, Maybe you wouldn't like that about skill sharpeners. I personally love that. And that is one thing that I, is one of my favorite things about the skill sharpeners workbooks is the full color. I think they're really, really beautiful to look at. 
There is no assessment of any kind. There's no tests of any kind in the Skill Sharpeners Geography Workbook. So if that's something that's important to you, you will probably want to make up something on your own, which will be fairly easy to, to do. You can go through here and pull out some of the vocabulary words or some of the places and locations. Um, but otherwise, if you are definitely wanting something that has a test or an assessment, you're not gonna find that with the Skill Sharpeners Geography. Okay, so that is the Skill Sharpeners Geography kind of overview. The next thing I'm gonna be sharing with you guys is the daily geography practice. Now this is kind of what I was talking about when I said a teacher's manual. And I don't really wanna say that. I don't wanna scare you away and, and say, oh, it's got a teacher's manual. It's gonna be really, really time intensive and, and hard to figure out. It's really not. This is what would be the equivalent of the teacher's manual. There are student pages in this book that your child will be working through. Um, but if you want to have kind of your own copy of what you're doing each day and you want your ha child to have their own pages, that is when you would purchase the student workbook, which is a separate thing and it's $8 to get that. You do not have to have the student workbook. I personally like to have it because I do like to treat this as my teacher's manual and I'm reading to her from this and she's got her student workbook for that. So totally up to you, just gonna give you some options there. Um, but the daily geography is for grades one through six. So you do have two extra grade levels with the Skill Sharpeners geography with pre-K and K that you do not have with daily geography. So if that's something that matters to you and you're wanting to start geography early, uh, earlier than first grade, then maybe the Skill Sharpeners would be a good option for you. So this workbook that does have the student pages in it and also your teacher's pages is $29.99. If you do want the student workbook separately, it is an additional purchase of $7.99. There are 36 weeks of lessons in daily geography. And unlike Skill Sharpeners geography, everything is black and white. So all of the maps, any pictures, pretty much every every single thing in this workbook is black and white. So if you were bothered by the fact that Skill Sharpeners is all full color, then maybe this is a great fit for you because it's less distracting, a little bit less in your face. Um, so definitely not gonna find any color in Daily Geography. I would say that the Daily Geography practice is a lot more of a traditional geography curriculum with a lot of map work and things like that but you do touch on some of the other concepts that you would be talking about in skill sharpeners geography like climate and landforms and things like that i personally think it's a lot more of a basic kind of map skills type of geography approach which is also fine but compared to skill sharpeners geography you just kind of have to decide which approach to geography you're wanting to take i definitely think that the skill sharpeners geography book i just showed you is definitely every single day can be done and not take too much time. But that is even more so with daily geography because it literally is set up to be done every single day. With your teacher's manual, you have um, Monday through Friday, what you are gonna be talking about. You kind of have a little introduction you're reading to the child, introducing the vocabulary for the unit, and then you have a map. And basically, whatever map you have that week, your child has two questions per day to talk about that map. So Monday, they have two questions. Tuesday, two questions. Wednesday, Thursday, and then Friday, they have two questions and a challenge, which is writing questions about the map and then answering that question. So definitely two questions a day is very, very doable to do geography. I do like that the daily geography practice at the back of the book does include a geography glossary that your child can pull out right here they can put their name on it and basically it's got every single vocabulary word and term that they learn throughout the book they can pull that out and use it for reference as they're working through the book they can pull it out and keep it as a reference in the future so i do like that that's one thing that daily geography practice has that skill sharpeners geography does not but again there are no tests or assessments of any kind so if that's something that matters to you again you would have to kind of make that up on your own not a huge deal um, but just something that you need to know that neither one of them have tests or assessment but both of them do have answer keys which is really important and that seems like an obvious thing to say like oh it's got an answer key i have actually done curriculum from other companies bought it and not realized it did not include an answer key and i immediately returned it because even though whether i'm doing the subject with the child or not i definitely like to have that answer key as kind of a backup for me so they both do have an answer key. Okay, and the last geography option I'm sharing with you guys today is the Seven Continents series. So like I said, I have Asia here in my hand. We have Antarctica downstairs in the homeschool room. We just finished North America. So given the fact that it's called the Seven Continents, there are seven books in this series all about the seven different continents. So you can pick and choose where you wanna start, which continent you wanna study first. 
Um, you can maybe tie it into your history program if you want. So it's just a really great option that you do focus the entire workbook on one particular continent. I personally would think of this as more of a social studies curriculum before I would call it geography, but if you notice, we did use it as part of our geography last year because there are map skills in this book and there's a lot of cultural studies and things like that. So I feel like it is a, it's kind of a geography curriculum on steroids because you're doing the basic map work in the beginning, but then after those first few units in the book, then you really deep dive into different countries, different cultures, different food and animals and landmarks and celebrations of the different countries within that continent. So it is so much more than just a geography curriculum. So seven continent series, they are $21.99 per book and it's set up with five different units, each unit focusing on physical features, political divisions, culture, animals, and landmarks. It is also all in black and white, which I don't mind so much because there really aren't a whole lot of pictures and it's not really overly map heavy. So that doesn't bother me in this case. So like I said, it's very map heavy in the first few units because you are talking about um, political divisions and you're learning about the hemispheres uh, absolute location, using a projection map, things like that. So the first few units you are working with maps and then those later units we're talking about the culture of the different countries and different events and landmarks and animals and things like that. So I love that. I love that you're not spending too much time. The entire book is not about maps, which I appreciate. Um, I love the cultural part of it. I think that's really, really interesting. I think you could definitely do the Seven Continent series workbook with another geography workbook and it not be too much. It definitely wouldn't be redundant because there's this Seven Continent series is so different than a traditional geography curriculum. I don't know that it's necessarily necessary, but I definitely think you could and it wouldn't be too much since you are focusing so much in the Seven Continent series on the continent and the countries within that continent. I don't think it would be too much to add, you know, maybe the seven continents and then the skill sharpeners geography or daily geography. I think that would still be very doable um, and definitely be a very full bodied geography curriculum if you were doing that. And like I said earlier, I think you could also tie in the seven continent series to your history. I think it's a great addition to anything you're already doing. And it's also great as a standalone curriculum. Now, one difference with the seven continent series that you will not find with the daily geography practice or skill sharpeners geography is there is an assessment at the end of this book that goes over all of the things that you talked about in the entire workbook. So that is a nice feature. If you do want there to be an assessment, there is one in the back of the Seven Continents series. So those are the three Evan Moore workbooks that I have experience with, that I have used, that I have personally fallen in love with. And there's pros and cons to each of them. I love them all. If I had to pick a favorite, that would be really hard because I would want to say the Seven Continents North America because we had such a great time with it last year. I added a few little things to it and it really made an entire social studies unit that was about culture and landmarks and geography and map skills and it was incredible with the seven continents North America being the base of that program. So I love it. I think it was great and that's why we're going forward with Antarctica for sixth grade. If I had to choose a favorite between the skill sharpeners geography and daily geography practice, I would choose the skill sharpeners geography. Like I said, I have not met a skill sharpeners workbook that I don't like. And what I'm a sucker for when it comes to the skill sharpeners line is those full color photos. That to me is just so, I mean, look at this, this page alone. You have these beautiful pictures of these different landmarks. This would be something that when your child is done with it, they may want to even cut these out. Or if you want to have them do a project and use these, later on as pictures for a project. I mean, everything in here is beautiful pictures, full color, even the maps, you know, I just, I love that. See, look, even the maps are full color. So I love that. I love that there's so much variation. You're not doing the same type of thing every single day. I love that the lessons are open and go. There's very little, very little to no parent involvement on my part. There's a hands-on activity at the end of each unit. So for me, the skill sharpeners geography is, is the best of that versus the daily geography practice, which is also good too. But I just, like I said, I'm a sucker for full color and I love that. And also the price, it is very, very inexpensive. It's the least expensive of the three. So I hope that helped you guys out. I know it can be overwhelming when you, when you go to any company's website and look at all the different options they have, but Evan Moore has so many subjects that they have so many choices within each subject. So it can make it really hard to decide which one is for you. So I hope this video gave you a little bit of a better idea of 
how they're the same, how they're different, maybe help you to pick which one would fit in the best with your homeschool or what kind of approach you like to take to geography. I really hope it was helpful. If it was, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you're not already. And I will link my homeschooling playlist for you in the description box. All of my previous homeschooling videos are in that playlist. So anything I've done with talking about Evan Moore or any of my other videos with curriculum choices and curriculum review videos, there's some homeschool day in the life videos in there. So make sure you check that out. It is kind of your one-stop shop for all things homeschooling and I think it'll be really helpful. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.